and welcome to my keto kitchen. I'm Victoria. Today we are making pineapple cupcakes. Zero carb pineapple cupcakes. So let's just get started. The first thing that we need is one stick of melted butter. Now this is eight tablespoons of melted butter. I like to start with butter. It keeps everything from sticking to the bowl as bad. The next thing we need is one egg. And the nice thing about this, you can just dump it all in and then mix it. You don't have to do it in separate mixing stages. We need one tablespoon of pineapple extract. This is going to give us upside down pineapple cake cupcakes. Now the next thing we need is one quarter of a cup of your choice of yogurt. Next, we need three quarters of a cup of milk. I'm using my zero carb milk. You can use almond milk, coconut milk, whatever keto milk you have should be just fine. Now, I need one cup of allulose, which is what I usually use. However, this time, I am finding that half of a cup of allulose with half of a cup of Lakanto's monk fruit erythritol blend is perfect for baking. It does not burn. You can bake it for a long time without it going brown. Also, with half allulose and half erythritol, you do not get the grittiness that you get when you use all erythritol. So this is a baking blend of sweetener. This is what I'm using right now, and I am really happy with the results. As a matter of fact, it is it takes it a step up as far as sweetness because the Lakanto brand, their monk fruit erythritol blend is very sweet. So half of a cup of allulose, half of a cup of the Lakanto brand erythritol, monk fruit erythritol blend, that is what this is. So that is what goes in next. Right here I have one and a half cups, which is 119 grams of my new standard keto flour. And to the flour, I'm going to add half of a tablespoon of baking powder. I'm going to mix it up a little bit before I pour it into the bowl. Perfect. So this is going right on top. I'm going to put the beater attachment on. And I'm just going to blend this until it is smooth. Now I'm going to bring you close. I'm going to show you this batter. With the pecan flour, you can tell that it looks more like a whole wheat flour. It is very beautiful. It's rich. It makes me hungry looking at it. I don't know what it is about the little brown specks that make me hungry when I look at it, but also it smells really good. Let me bring you close. I want you to see what the batter looks like with this new standard keto flour. This is what it looks like in the bowl after mixing. Okay, so I have Nordic Ware right here. This is my cupcake holder. It makes 12 cupcakes. You can get this at Walmart. I can put a link in the description box if I can find it on Amazon. But I really like this bakeware. It's not expensive and it lasts and it cooks everything fully through. If you're using a silicone cup and you're not using these little paper cups, or if you're using something that's not 100% aluminum for your baking trays, you could be coming into a problem of things not cooking thoroughly. And for that, I'm sorry. I don't always think to mention what I'm cooking with, but Nordicware, the 100% aluminum baking pieces are very, very good. I'm gonna take my handy dandy cookie scoop, which is about one quarter of a cup, and I'm going to almost fill it up. I'm going to leave a gap on the side because if I fill it up, then these are too full. So if you can see this, there's a little space at the top. I don't want to fill it all the way to the top. And there we have it. We have 12 cupcakes now. I'm putting these in the oven at 350 degrees for 23 minutes. That's what I keep doing and every time I make it, I put these on the counter, I come back and half of them are gone because between my husband and my children, they don't even give me time to icing them. They don't even give me the time to put the icing on these. They just eat them. So that says a lot about keto cupcakes if your family will eat it without any icing. So. 23 minutes at 350 and I will be right back. 
Okay, I baked these for a total of 25 minutes. These, I wanted to put in a little bit longer. So, 25 minutes. Now, I am going to get my no grit icing. Now, that's a recipe I already post. I'm going to use that to put on these delicious cupcakes. Let me grab it. Now, these have cooled a little bit. I might just let them cool a little bit more, but just going to dump them out. They are strong. They're structurally sound. They're not weak. You can just dump them out if you need to. So I am going to icing one. I'm going to bring it close to the camera and I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. Let me show you. I broke this for you on camera. Now I am going to eat it. I'm actually really hungry. It's a little past lunch. Oh my word. Wow. Mmm, that is so good. Pineapple cupcakes. So, so good. Mm. If you make these, please let me know. Please let me know. Mmm. I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. Sorry, I'm just so good. That was so good. Best keto cupcake I've ever had. Wow. Okay, if you make these, please, please, please let me know. Put a comment. Let me know what you think. Wow, this flower is outstanding. Outstanding. Have you ever had a zero-carb keto flower that was actually delicious? Tastes like a regular cupcake. Tastes like an upside-down pineapple cake. And no grit buttercream icing. Thank the Lord. I'm just so thankful for these creations that God's allowed me to come up with. They are, they're just great. And I hope you're getting a blessing with them. I hope they're helping you in your daily walk, your keto routine. I just pray that they're a really big blessing and that you're enjoying them. Many people ask me about how to store my things. I'm going to put these in the refrigerator because buttercream, I'd rather it be cold. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you make these, please put in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You have a blessed day.